something hadn't worked so well, and uh, and and they had asked me to come for an hour. They kept me for three and a half hours, and then we all adjourned to lunch. So it, it was a nice day. Uh, so so what do we do? Um, the one thing I want to say a little bit because that's obviously become a major issue now, which is ethnicity. Uh, because insofar as there are going to be changes, I think most of us think it's going to be ethnic oriented. I mean, newspapers are full of these pictures of these four, five, six leaders, and each belongs to the one of the five, six, seven uh, tribes. Uh, all of them are, of course, uh, have are huge uh, in numbers, uh, very well in um, in uh, endowment, uh, wealthy. Not everybody within that, but certainly a whole stratum of, of these tribes are very well placed, and they are just making their own deals. And uh, and so this proposal to have a, a, a system which uh, the two major changes they are proposing that the, you know at one level they are su suggesting let us move to a parliamentary system. In another way, there's, there's a hint of uh, uh, the, the old uh, system we have. Uh, not the parliamentary, uh, and uh, so, so because we have this president, then we have a prime minister, and they have very carefully um, worked out president, one, two, three, assistant, uh, uh, prime minister, two, two, three. So, and then if you look at what the newspapers are saying anyway, these, uh, this number is chosen in order to, um, in order to um, appease the big tribes. Uh, and that leaves, I don't know, uh, how many uh, communities out of any real participation in the affairs of the state. So I think uh, I'm very much opposed to this idea. I think, as I said earlier, the Constitution says we are very proud of the cultures of all our community, even use the word et ethnic, uh, but we don't want it to come to the political arena. Mm -hmm. I, I feel very strongly about that, and I have done uh, in my long life uh, major studies of ethnicity. I was asked once by a consortium of Asian states when I was exiled from here, I was teaching in Hong Kong, if I would do a study of these eight, nine countries to see how ethnicity is affecting them. And uh, I did that report, it's available if you're interested. And uh, so I said that if you have, um, let's say six, six tribes, five tribes, but they are well distributed, their numbers are, you know, no, no group is really, really small, so that even if they don't join in a, in a political party, if they go to elections as a group, they are sure of getting at least two or three votes, or, I mean, uh, seats, and so on, so that each group will be somehow uh, involved, which is, what Mauritius is trying to do now, you know, has done, get everybody together, uh, and then you work out the system of, uh, of government. So my view was that when you have a situation, as there were some countries in Asia, there probably were three, four groups. And I even talked to them, and I said to some smaller one, what kind of system would you like? And I also, put to them that one possibility might be you can have a you know, fixed number as such, or you just get integrated into the politics of the country, and some of your people will surely come up and that thing. 
And but when I went to uh, places where there might have been eight, nine, ten groups, uh, some really small, that it would be almost impossible for them in the elections uh, to be elected because they were small and they were, you know, the the big tribe didn't have to bother about them. Whereas if you are twenty percent, the big tribe will will want to woo you. And uh, some countries did did accept that, and I th can't say how well it has all worked. But but I feel very strongly for ourselves uh, that we will have this enormous uh, difference. Then there'll be a few major tribes. They already are. They're already well off. That will be increasing, and a lot of others us will be left alone, left without resources, and. Uh, and this is completely against the Constitution and against what people want. I run into all kinds of people on the streets, as you do. People stop me, we talk, we chat. And uh, I haven't met one person who is favoring what is being done. Uh, but they don't know what they can do. And I said, well, I don't know either. But, uh, but fight for the constitution that you have, because there you have absolute right. And we are all uh, citizens, vote together. There are also many cultures, many languages, religions. All of these un enrich us. Uh, so we're not fighting them, and we are encouraging them. But they don't get into the political arena. That is for all of us as citizens. And uh, so, in the, so reading this r report or this uh, the terms for the first time when I was read that I was I was elated I was saying fantastic now we really have a serious attempt at implementation of the constitution so I think these are some of the things we should uh, we should mention and uh, and uh, and. Uh, uh, and keep on reminding them that uh, the, the two of them said this is a major problem. These nine points are a major problem. The mandate of uh, uh, BBI is clearly these nine issues that they must be dealt with. And it probably got worse, but I think we, we keep on emphasizing this. Uh, I think that would be good. Um, is I'm not getting past my time. Well, again, I think uh, 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 we should uh, uh, we could draw, and I, I can. I'm, I'm happy to work with you to draw up a list of uh, the violations uh, that are implicit uh, if they do what they are doing. So that is one. At one level, there is a question of. Is it consistent with the Constitution that most Kenyans like? It's appreciated highly throughout Africa. Other parts uh, already being copied. I can tell you four, five, six countries have followed our Constitution. We, in turn, of course, we mustn't get too arrogant. Our Constitution also relied heavily on South Africa. Uh, so we are learning from each other. and. Uh, and I think uh, we are in some ways better than South Africa, precisely because we learned from them. And uh, so, so I think we have to emphasize to the people that these are our values. We fought for them. Uh, we voted for it. We do not want to lose this. And again, I said, I'm happy to sit down with whoever's interested. We can make a list of things that will be uh, will be damaged so